Until January 2011, the FDA's expectations regarding process validation had been discussed in the 1987 Guidance on Process Validation. In January 2011, the agency finalized an updated guidance bringing it into the modern era of risk management and quality by design. Much has changed in technology since 1987 when the last guidance document was written. However, this is the guidance that many industries have relied upon since then. In the original guidance, process validation was focused on testing, instrument qualification, and process robustness and repeatability. We will refer to this guidance as the classical or traditional approach to validation. In this approach, the manufacturer performs a minimum of three commercial batches for validation, and, if successful, the validation effort is considered complete and manufacturer could then routinely use the process to produce the product without further process validation. There was no requirement to perform any further ongoing life cycle validation efforts. Whereas with the new life cycle approach, which was formalized in the new FDA guideline in 2011, validation is a three-phase continuous process with ongoing effort for the entire life cycle of the product. The diagram on the screen compares the new life cycle approach versus the traditional or classical approach to process validation.